once we've built our posts and we've put our titles in we can add a little bit more content to each so if you hover your mouse over any of the the posts that you've made you can see that these icons uh, appear on the top right hand side now uh, the first one with the pencil is the edit post and so we can click on that and we can add some content So I'm just going to add a little bit of content just for the moment. I'm actually building this out for real I'm going to use this with my students shortly and therefore um, we'll be able to see how this develops through, uh, throughout this particular tutorial series of tutorials delete as you would ordinarily um, We're also going to look at adding a bit more content. We'll come to that in a moment coming back to that if I click on the three dots there, more actions, there's my edit post. Now, one of the great features now of Padlet is that I can connect post to post. So if there are, um, if we're working on a task where we want to draw out similarities or if we want to show some development points, we might be able to do this pictorially, visually by showing connections from one post to another. And hopefully when my student, students have populated this a bit more, we'll be able to show some 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 uh, real life examples of that. But let's just do that for the moment now. So I click on that and it allows me to, this one hasn't got connect on it, but you can see all the others have connect. I can connect this post to any of the others. So let's say, for example, there is a link here. I click connect and there's a direct obviously arrows showing me that there is some sort of link there between the two this is absolutely fantastic for drawing out a visual representation of things like synoptic links if you're doing if you're working at a level or as level but also links further uh, you know within gcse as well to help students develop their points a fantastic new feature relatively new feature for um for padlet here now moving on relatively swiftly, I can change whether it, they're at the, the, the post is at the front or at the back. Uh, if I've got lots of little posts, I can make sure that we can see them by configuring there. I can transfer a post to another Padlet that I've created that I own. So there may be something that's written here, which is really, really uh, useful for to go somewhere else. So I could copy the post and then transfer that post elsewhere. And then I can also expand the post. So if I click on that now, it only just of course just shows the title but there could be some more content here so if students want to see the the the, the text that's been written or if there's an image there or if there's a video there which i'll show you in another tutorial then we can see that more clearly than if it was just on the canvas uh, on the wall on its own so lots and lots of things you can do with the editing uh, icons there